Welcome guys to the third episode of my Arsenal Career Med series. In today's episode guys, we will be kicking off the Barclays Premier League season. Also, we'll be hitting transfer deadline day. So guys, smash a like on the video if you do enjoy. If we can smash over 200 likes, that would be insane. Make sure you drop a comment down below that I can reply to. Make sure that you subscribe so you do not miss any videos from me. And make sure that you follow me on Twitter for all the latest updates on my channel. Before an episode is released, a couple of hours before, I do release a little sneak peek out on Twitter. So make sure you follow me there if you want all the latest updates on my channel. So as you guys can see, we're in August 2014. We're getting into the latest stages of the transfer window. You guys can take a look at the calendar right here. If you guys did miss the previous episode, check the link in the description to the series playlist. What a game it was in the Community Shield final against Manchester City. What a game it was. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. You have to check it out for, you say, for yourself. That was just an insane game. I haven't had a game of FIFA like that in so long. So, guys can see, Crystal Palace and Leicester will be playing them in today's episode. And then we'll end the episode off with transfer deadline day. So, yeah, guys, let's jump into the first game of the Premier League season against Crystal Palace. So guys, I've actually received a loan offer for my 19 year old right mid, which I am going to accept. This guy looks very similar to Theo Walcott, which is a bit funny. So yeah, yeah, again, another young player going out on loan, which is very nice to see. I want all my young players to go out on loan and get that first him experience elsewhere. So guys, first game of the Premier League season, as I said, against Crystal Palace. What a game this is going to be. It's going to be at home at the Emirates to let's kick off the Premier League season with a victory. Um, so I'm actually going to make uh, one change to the lineup, actually. I'm going to put on uh, Danny Welbeck over Olivier Giroud for the first game. So you guys can check out the lineup that I'm actually going to go with for this game. It's very similar to the team that did play for the Community Shield final. In goals, we do have Chesney. Left back is Kieran Gibbs. The two center backs are Koscielny and Varane. Debushi, right back. Thea Walker starting out on the right. In the central midfield position, Aaron Ramsey will be starting there. Left mid, we will have Sanchez. In the central attacking midfield position, uh, we do have Meza Ozil, and up front we will start Danny Welbeck and Lacazette. Let's jump into the game, guys, against Crystal Palace. Legendary four minutes at the Emirates. Let's start the season off with a victory. Huge game, guys. It's only against Crystal Palace, but I want to kick off the Premier League season with three points. We are playing at home at the Emirates. Um, drop a prediction down below in the comment section. How much do you think I'm going to win in this game? How much do you think I'm going to lose? Or if you think I'm going to lose, drop a score prediction down below in the comment section. That is the lineup that I'm going to go with for this game. You guys can see on the substitutes, I will be making uh, a lot of uh, all three substitutes for this game. I still want to test out the players I do have. Um, so yeah, what a game this is going to be at the Emirates against uh, Crystal Palace. Let's take a look at the Palace side. Spironi in goals. I think that's Kelly there right back. Um, Yedinak, the Australian captain, will be starting for Crystal Palace. And also Shamak and Gutierrez will be starting up front for the Palace lineup. They also do have Wilfred Zaha on the substitutes, which is very interesting. So let's jump into it, guys. First real game in the Premier League. And let's, let's start the season with um, some three points. Lacazette now with a nice ball to Ozil. Did Shamak just outstrengthen Ozil like that? Oh no, it's Debushi. Get back, Debushi. They whip in across. Trying to find the former Arsenal man, Shamak, in the box. It's well defended there from our defenders. But Crystal Palace has started off very well in this game. The first 20 minutes, they have actually been in control, but... Let's, let's try and get on top um, from here on out. It's Yedinak with the shot. Great save from Chesney. Clear it out, please, Debushi. Oh, all right, how hard was it to just clear out the ball? It's a nice ball. What a save from Chesney. I'm not sure if I'm playing Real Madrid or Crystal Palace. That is how well Palace are playing. Nice save there from Chesney. But as I said, I don't know if I'm playing Real Madrid or Crystal Palace because Crystal Palace are playing very well as Shamak's header does go wide of the goal. Look at him go. It's Theo Walcott that's whipping across. Sanchez is there back post, but it's straight to Spironi. 
And what a first half this has been. It's been Crystal Palace really playing very well in this first half. So nil-nil at half time and Crystal Palace are playing very well. But I am going to change up a few things during this second half. I'm actually going to take off Danny Welbeck. I'm going to swap him for Cazola. I'm going to put on Cazola, but I'm also going to swap him to the left mid position. And I'm going to put Sanchez up front for the second half. Let's hope that this change um, does change up the game. And let's hope that now Sanchez playing up front could get us that goal uh, to break the deadlock. All right, Koscielny now is pushed up to Cazola. Back to Koscielny. Santi Cazola now makes his way inside the box with the cross. Sanchez is there, guys. But at full time, it is Arsenal nil, Crystal Palace nil in the first game of the Premier League season. Crystal Palace played very well in this game, guys. Seriously, Crystal Palace played very well in this game. So at full time, we get only one point from our first Premier League game of the season. So guys, we received a transfer over here from Stoke City for Olivier Giroud that I am just going to reject. I want to keep Giroud at the club now, but we've already made the signings that I want to make, to be honest. Varane and Lacazette are the two signings I really wanted to make, but this game against Everton is going to be a huge test. Obviously, Everton are a very good side. I rate them very highly uh, in the Premier League and I'll be I'll be over the moon if we actually do pick up the three points here. So guys, the second game of this Premier League season is at Goodison Park against Everton and Everton, I rate them very highly as I just said before um, and I'll be very happy if we were to pick up the points here against Everton. You guys can take a look at my lineup coming up in a sec. So guys, this is the Everton side that we are coming up against. Very surprising they're actually starting Naismith over Lukaku. That's very surprising. Ross Barkley just behind him. Pina and Miralas on the wings. McCarthy and Barry in the midfield. And I didn't actually catch their defense. But this is the side that I went with, guys. I actually changed up the side quite a bit. Giroud will be playing over Danny Welbeck. Rosicki is playing over uh, Ozil. Campbell's is starting uh, in this game over Theo Walcott. And I think they're the only change that I did make for this game. But it's going to be a huge game against Everton. After a nil-nil draw against Crystal Palace, we really need to improve in this performance if we want to pick up the three points against Everton. Whip it in. Come on, Varane, that's your header well headed away. Go on, Lacazette. Go on, Lacazette. It's Lacazette, go on. Lacazette with the chip, trying to chip it over Timmy Howard. I had really no other option there, but Lacazette's chip goes straight to Howard. It's been a decent start in this game, um, and let, let's hope that we can uh, pick up the first goal. Ross Barkley now. Ball gets played inside to Gareth Barry. Come on, boys, we need to clear it out. It's a great ball. It's well defended there from Alexis Sanchez getting back. Go on, Wilshire. Plays it to Giroud, not the paces of players. Go on, Lacazette. It's Lacazette with the shots. It's Lacazette who makes it 1 0 in the 41st minute. What a finish from the Frenchman, puts it into the back of the net, and we take a 1-0 advantage over Everton in the 41st minute. What a finish from Lacazette, he gets around Phil Jerkielka there way too easy, and he just smashes that one back post past Timmy Howard, and we take a 1-0 advantage in this game against Everton. A very nice finish there from Lacazette, and let's hope that we can continue on this and try and get a second goal. On the ball, it's Ross Barkley who plays it to Barry. It's Gareth Barry with the shot, and that's an easy save for Chesney. You gotta do a lot more to try and get past Chesney. Now they do have a corner. It's Morales now who whips in the corner. Easy clearance, sort of. It's McCarthy now just outside the box. Gonna play it wide, I think so. No, he's not. He's going It's McCarthy himself. Plays it back's post, and it is Naismith who makes it 1-1. One, one. 
and Everton get a goal back. I did not see that coming. I thought McCarthy was going to go out wide, but he played a back post, and that was horrible man marking there from Debushi. And Naismith levels things in this game at 1 1. So, guys, I'm going to make a couple of substitutions now. I'm going to put on Theo Walcott for Olivier Giroud. I'm putting Walcott up front. I feel like we need that extra pace up front if we were to win this game. And I'm also going to put on the Ox for um, Joel Campbell. So there are two changes I'm going to put on, two pacey players to come on, and let's hope that these two substitutions can get us that, can get us that second goal to put ourselves in the lead. But so McCarthy plays it wide. Tamaras well defended. Gibson plays it to Eto. Eto now down the wing. He whips it across. Ross Barkley has put the ball into the back of the net to make it 2 1 to Everton. And yet again, where was Debushi? Two times Debushi. It was his man who has scored both the goals, and I cannot believe this. Everton have taken a 2-1 advantage in the 76th minute. Guys, Koscielny has picked up an injury in the 90th minute. And that just that just really sums up our game. And we're going to put Chambers as our right back. It was Eto who took down Koscielny there. That just really seals the loss for us. You guys can see that we will be picking up most likely the loss. There it is, guys. A full time we go down to Everton 2 1 in a game which we were leading and a game which we were controlling at one stage. Very disappointing to see. But Everton scored two headed goals. And they do get the victory, so at full time we go down in the first loss of this Cremate series against Everton. So guys, Koscielny has gone down with only a bruised shoulder, and luckily he's only going to be out for nine days. So that is um, some, some happy news to maybe put a smile on your faces, but guys... We've got one more game in today's episode. It is going to be against Leicester. So hopefully... We can get a victory against Leicester, make it one win, a draw, and a loss from today's episode. We need to get the victory here. It is a, already in this season a must-needed victory. I didn't feel like we deserved to lose against Everton, but we did, sadly. But we need to pick up the win against Leicester City. So, guys, Sevilla have come with the offer for Theo Walcott, which I am going to reject. I have no interest of selling Theo Walcott uh, in this, this career mode series. So, Theo Walcott, okay, he thought that I, I was actually going to replace him. I don't know why. Um, but now, it's happy to see that he is happy and he does know that his spot is not in jeopardy. So, guys, as I said just before, oh, actually, we've actually got transfer over here for Diaby. For which I am just going to reject. I've got. I don't want to get rid of any of the players that we do have at the moment at this club. But this is a game we have to win. Leicester City away in the Premier League, and let's jump into it. So, guys, King Power Stadium against Leicester City away. This is a huge game. As I said, we haven't started off well in the league. I I still can't believe that we actually lost to Everton. We did not deserve. That loss it was very disappointing to see. Um, but yeah, as I said, no excuses now. We have to get the win against Leicester. So guys, this is the Leicester City lineup in goal. They do have Schmeichel in goals. Also, Cambiasso, the old soldier there. Not old soldier, but he's uh, getting to the um, end of his career um, up at Leicester. So guys, let's take a look at the lineup for my side. You guys can see... Look at the team that I'm putting out for this game. Different formation, 4-2-3-1. Up front is Lacazette, Sanchez, Ozil, Walcott. Just behind him, uh, Wilshire, Rams in the midfield. Gibbs, Koscielny, Varane, Chambers is put in. Uh, Debushi has been dropped for this game and Chesney in goal. Good ball inside. It's Vardy now for Leicester. Well defended there from Ramsey. 
Go on, Lacazette now to Meza Ozil. Go on the run, Alexis Sanchez. You've got the pace now. Go on down the wing. Sanchez with the cross back post. It's Meza Ozil now with the referee. Ozil got taken down inside the box. I thought that one was a penalty there, but started off well in this game. Um, and let's sort of keep it up. And that's a very bad ball there from Ramsey. Oh, Alexis Sanchez now. It's Sanchez with the shot. It's just gone wide of the goal. I think it came off Schmeichel. Yes, it did. We do have a corner. Go on, Ozil. Whip it in. Inside. It's Kieran Gibbs. It's well. It's cleared away from Leicester City. Go on, Lacazette. Can he go all the way here? Lacazette, yes he can. Fake shot. It's Sanchez with the shot. It's Koscielny! Koscielny, the centre back. <laughs> what is he doing in our attacking box? It doesn't really matter. He puts it into the back of the net. What a go, <laughs> Koscielny. Is he a striker? That's my question. Great clearance. Go on, Lacazette. Come on, Lacazette. Can you get around this defender? Oh, it's a great ball. It's Alexis Sanchez. It's Alexis Sanchez. Sanchez makes it 2 0 in the 72nd minute. And we will be picking up the three points. The first three points. This was a must win game. And Koscielny. Could we call him a striker? It was a great finish, but also Sanchez puts it into the back of the net and we take a 2-0 advantage in this game against Leicester City. Great wide ball. It's Walcott. It's Lacazette, guys. Lacazette makes a 3-0 in the 78th minute. And the three points is ours, as I said before. What a header. What a play that was. Four, on, four against one. Walcott with the cross, easy as you like to Lacazette, and that's his second goal in this Premier League season. He has started off very well. What a signing he has been, and as I said, even before I signed him, guys, he's going to be a very good player. All right, Cambiasso now for Leicester City, plays a good boy. It's Nugent, great save from Chesney. He's playing very well. In all these three games, it is Chesney who is who is probably man of the match in all those games. So Leicester City have just got a goal back in the 90th minute with a header from a cross. Uh, Chesney just watched that one go into his own net, but can't take anything away from Chesney. He has just been playing on, insane in these first three games that we've been playing in the Premier League. So it was still 3-1 in the lead. Can Theo Walcott get a fourth? Theo Walcott, he puts it wide. And that is how, I'm pretty sure that's how the game is going to end. So guys, after the 90 minutes, we pick up a 3-1 victory over Leicester City. Sadly, we did concede in the 90th minute, but we did score three goals of our own. So it is the first three points of this season. Lacazette, Sanchez, and Koscielny also chipping in with a goal. So guys, full time, as I said, a 3-1 victory over Leicester City. Let's check out where that um, win actually leaves us in the league table. Let's check it out. So guys, that win does take us up to 10th position. You guys can see we are in 10th. We've won one, drawn one, and lost one. In first position is Liverpool, and just behind them are Manchester City. If we take a look at the relegation zone, it is Leicester City who are last. Also, Southampton in 19th place, which is very surprising. Also, is Manchester United in 17th. QPR are in 18th. So, it's a decent start to the season, know what I mean? You guys can see we are in transfer deadline day, but I don't really like to make my transfers during deadline day. So guys, the final hour in transfer deadline day has been done. I didn't make any signings or no players did leave the club uh, during deadline day, but you guys can see that obviously transfer deadline day has ended. So guys, this is going to wrap up the third episode of my Arsenal Cremate series. You guys can see our Champions League group. 
we have Shakhtar, Donetsk, Moscow, and Feyenoord. So this is a pretty easy group to get out of, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure you smash a like on the video. Over 200 likes have been seen. Drop a comment down below that I can reply to, and make sure that you subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you all on my next video.